Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and you're watching my Pokemon Sun Gotta Catch Em All Let's Play. In the last episode, we actually went through and went to Executor Island and found the Sun Flute. Now, in this episode, uh, I actually have a multi battle coming up, and that's actually with um, Lumi Bashir, which is Emily, uh, Kasinda, and Heft Nasty. Uh, so let's see if we can get this battle set up here and ready to go. Um, <laughs> Let's see if we can get this battle on the road here. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to watch the uh, Snowpoint Temple chat room chat while we're getting things all connected up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a amount of three battles. Uh, so that way everybody gets a chance to be on a team with someone. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. Let's see if we can get things figured out. Uh, I was going to wait to see if uh, Emily could send the request, um, but let's see here. Let's update the list. Bashir, Cassinda, Alex. Okay. Bashir, Alex, Cassinda. All right, so I'm going to send the request. Um, we'll just give it a second there for everybody to get connected up. I'm super pumped. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to decide the rules. We're going to do multi-battle normal rules. Confirm. So we're going to see who actually works together. So we're waiting for other players right now. So let's see. I'm not sure how this works. Before we used to be able to pick sides and who was on a team. This is actually pretty cool. Alright, so Cassinda is selecting her pokes. We'll just give her a moment there to select up her Pokemon. Okay, we're just going to give a few more moments here. <laughs> That's true. Um, so, Hef is saying that it could be randomized as well for, like, who's on what team. Uh, so, we'll see how that works out. But I'm pretty sure we can select, select our team members. All right, communicating, please stand by. All right, so please decide the teams. I'm gonna set myself for... Uh, I'm just gonna go automatic. Okay. So, it looks like I'm with Emily and Cassinda is with Heft Nasty. 
So what we'll do... All right, let's do this. We'll confirm the teams. We're gonna switch up the teams uh, the second round. So we can actually choose three of our Pokemon that we would like to battle with. Uh, so it looks like uh, Emily's got Greninja, Vullaby, Gengar, Snorlax, uh, Decidueye, and wow, we all have the Firestarter. Um... Oh man, I really want to go with Salazzle, but let's go with Trevenant just to be different. We will choose Salazzle and Incineroar for the first battle. Alright, let's see how this is going to work. So we're just waiting for Cassandra to choose her um, six po uh, three Pokemon that she wants to use for the battle. And then we're going to get right into the battle. So <laughs> good luck, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we got Emily and myself versus Cassandra and Half Nasty. <laughs> so this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> All right, so we got Trevenant and Snorlax. Looks like they've got the um, Gyarados and Lycanroc. Looks like it's like the moon form or night version. I don't know what they call it. Um, I am so going for the Will O' Wisp on that Gyarados. Fang's gonna hurt. Live, live, live. Yes! <laughs> Critical hit, though. <laughs> Will O Wisp. Will oh, Wisp. <laughs> Boom! Alright, so we got the Will O Wisp on the Gyarados. So that Gyarados is now kind of uh, dropping its attack power because of the burn, of course. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do the same thing to the Sirius Black, which is the Lycan Rock. Uh, however, I think we're going to run into some complications here. Um, oh, it's going for the bite. Oh no, Liv! Yes! What is this? Oh man, Lycan Rock just completely missed. Got. Oh man, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yikes. Oh man. Um, let's see here. I don't have any priority attacks. Oh, let's see. That's a dark type, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna have to go with the grass knot, I think, onto Sirius Black. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to survive a t uh, an attack here. I think that Gyarados is gonna just destroy. Oh, it's going for the Twister. There's no way I'm surviving that. <laughs> All right, let's go for the Salazzle. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, those stealth rocks. So the stealth rocks are entry hazards. Uh, so if you guys switch Pokemon in and out, uh, essentially you're going to run into the scenario where um, they're going to take damage from those stealth rocks. Oh, we really need to get that serious black out of there. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Venoshock onto the Gyarados. Oh. 
nasty. Oh, Sirius Black is down. Leaf Blade to the face. <laughs> oh, man. Cassinda, your Gyarados is so bulky. I love it. It's awesome. Um, we are going to run into a problem there if we can't get this Gyarados out of here. <laughs> oh, he... Oh, Hef brought in his own Salazzle. Uh-oh. It's going to be Salazzle and up in here. Oh man, um... Oh, man, I'm gonna have to go against the Gyarados. Oh. That's a Lazzle, guys. That's a Lazzle. <laughs> oh, it's Life Orbed. Oh man, that is gonna raise the attack powers. But, uh... Oh man. Come on, burn. Come on, burn. No. Not taking out that Gyarados yet. Oh, man. That next burn, though, is going to take it out. <laughs> Lit kit. Oh, yeah. Bring in the kitten. Maybe I can poison Smokey. I'm pretty sure the Gyarados is going to die from the burn, though. Uh, we are not doing so hot right now. Oh, Smokey's going for the Dragon Pulse. Oh. Uh-oh. That is not good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it goes down finally. Gyarados is out. Dun, dun. <laughs> oh man, we're all going to have uh, Incineroar out here at some point, I'm pretty sure. Mudsdale. Uh-oh. Mudsdale's gonna be a big problem. I'm getting that Mudsdale out of here, boys. I gotta get that out of here. Oh, man. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, not Lit Kit. Uh oh. It's time. It is time to use the Z Power. Oh man, so close. Oh man, that was good. <laughs> Alright, that was a good game, guys. That was lots of fun. Let's swap up the teams now. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Would you like to save this battle video? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, play with the same rules.
We didn't even... Actually, you know what? Now that we think about it, we've seen Gyarados and Mudsdale from Kasinda. Huh. So, Hef Nasty only had three Pokemon with him. Uh, he says that it could be difficult for him to battle against Kasinda uh, because of the Gyarados, most likely, and the Mudsdale. But you know what? That's cool. He wants to continue on. We gave him the option of getting three more pokes. So, let's see. Oh, uh, same. Okay, so we're just waiting for them to choose the same rules here. All right, uh, participating team. Okay, let's choose my party. So what I might do is I'm gonna swap up the pokes while we go through this. Uh, participating team party. All right, let the battle begin. And let's choose the teams now. <laughs> Apparently the pokes that half has are fully trained. Uh, so the three Pokemon are his first three competitive Pokemon that he's made. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't actually have any battle pokes ready on this game save. Or on this game, rather. Okay. Uh, this could be me. And we're going to go with Kasinda. Team 2 is Bashir. And Alex, Heft Nasty. All right, let's go. Let's get this battle underway. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, I think what I'll do though is I'll choose Greninja this round. Um, Crabrawler. And I'm gonna go Incineroar because Incineroar, you can never go wrong with Incineroar. <laughs> Just waiting for Cassandra to choose her pokes. I think she puts a lot of thought into choosing her pokes, to be honest with you. Um, I'm really kind of excited. I want to see the... Uh, I really want to see Vulpix. I haven't seen anyone battle with Vulpix yet. So, that's going to be cool. If she actually chooses Vulpix. Uh, although, Carbrink is going to have a lot of defense and special defense, so it would be a good decision as well. Alright, Bashir and Alex versus Elena and Cassinda. Alright, so there's Sirius Black and Gengar. Alright, Greninja and Ms. Drevis. Alright, let's do this. I want to see this Ash Greninja. I haven't actually been able to use it in this game save yet. In this game. Uh, let's go for the Water Shuriken onto Sirius Black. Oh, yeah! Here we go. One. Two. Ah, oh, it only hit twice. Oh, no! Sucker Punch on the Mistrevis. Oh, I am so dead. Oh, I survived. Say what? All right. 
Come on, Water Shuriken. I need you to take out Sirius Black. Oh, you know what? Gengar's probably going to sucker punch me. I, I almost can guarantee I will get sucker punched. No sucker punch! Oh yeah, critical hit! Come on, take it out! No! Oh man! Am I gonna be able to see Ash Greninja here or not? Nope. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why? Why you no like Ash Greninja? <laughs> All right, let's go to the Crabrawler. Oh, she brought Crabrink. <laughs> nice. That is awesome. Um, let's crab hammer the Lichen Rock. That Carbrink is going to be so bulky. I hope it takes out one of them. It's, it's got to. It's got to take out someone. Shadow Ball. Oh no! To the face! <laughs> Alright, get that get that Lycan Rock out of here. <laughs> and some mid-game Stealth Rocks. That is good. Hopefully, uh, there's some focus ashes or something like that on some of the pokes. Smoky. Alright. Nice. Okay, let's go for the crab hammer onto Smoky. Flamethrower. Don't die. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, nice hit. Do I take out Smokey or do I take out the Gengar? Okay, let's go with the Darkest Lariat and to Smokey. That is the power of Ev Train Pokes, guys. <laughs> if you ever needed an example, that is a perfect example of Ev Train Pokemon. Come on, get Smokey out of here. <laughs> Take that, Hef. <laughs> Hef says, why are you only taking out my pokes? Well, the reason I'm only taking out your pokes is because I have something against them from the last match. <laughs> uh, 
All right, that attack is not very effective, but you know what? I'm I'm actually I'm gonna go for the lick on the Gengar. I have a feeling I gotta get that Gengar out of here. Ooh, Shadow Ball. Ah, oh, poor Vulpix. Oh, it's going for the Leech Light. So that is round two, I think it is. I think we're going to three matches. I'm going to save the battle. <laughs> All right, we're going to play with the same rules. Uh, so now it is... All right, participating team. Let's choose the team here. Yes. All right, I gotta I gotta use Sligu here sometime. Let's use Sligu. I know I'm like making sounds over here. Let's choose the team. Team A, Alex, and Elena. It should just like automatically add them. There we go. Confirm the teams. All right, so Sligu. I'm gonna choose Greninja and Incineroar. There we go. I really wanna see Ash Greninja. <laughs> I really hope I can see it. So, I think Asinda might use her Gyarados again. Quite possibly Mudsdale and the Incineroar. I just kind of have that feeling. Now with Emily, uh, she might use her Snorlax Greninja, or she, you know what? She might use her Vullaby Greninja and her Incineroar. I don't know. It's really hard to predict them. I'm not sure exactly what they'll use, but I... I do have a feeling we'll see at least Gyarados, and we're probably going to see uh, Greninja from Emily. Alright, there we go. Good luck and have fun, guys. <laughs> It'd be really cool if you could do six Pokemon. Six versus six. Like, actually 12 versus 12 in that scenario. That'd be really cool. Oh. 
Yes, I selected that right. <laughs> oh, Gyarados, and we're going to see a Decidueye. Let's see here. I don't really want to use Muddy Water. I think what we'll have to do... I'll have to go for the Sludge Bomb onto Robin Hoot. Oh, Gyarados missed. Oh no, wait. No, Sirius Black? No! You missed. <laughs> So we did a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. <laughs> F says he's getting double teamed. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Breath to Gyarados. Because I'm, I'm kind of hoping to get a uh, paralysis of it. Oh, yes. Robin Hood is down. Perfect. Live, live, live. Ah! <laughs> Dat flinch. <laughs> oh man, Greninja. That is a problem. Sludge Bomb. <laughs> uh oh, Greninja's attacking. Oh man, we're actually gonna see Ash Greninja. <laughs> Taken out. Down goes Ash Greninja. <laughs> Very short lived. <laughs> All right. I don't know how I'm going to do this now. I think what I'll do is I'll go for the Muddy Water, so that way I can actually hit both of them and hopefully reduce the accuracy of that Gyarados. Same thing with the Gengar. Oh, Hef is not... Oh, wait a minute. That is... That's Emily. Oh, man. Emily's not playing around. <laughs> Never ending nightmare?
Oh man, that Gyarados is destroying. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, normally I'm on this column, but now I'm over on this column. Weird. All right, let's go with Greninja. Gotta get this Gyarados out of here. What is happening? Come on. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the twister to get them both. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to aerial ace this Gyarados. All right, Ash Greninja, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, here we are. <laughs> Hef is telling me to uh, do work with Ash Greninja. Hopefully we can. I don't know if we will, but we'll see. Oh, Mudsdale. Uh-oh. I don't know if Mudsdale was the right choice here. Um, Water Shuriken, here we go. Oh, three times? Oh, only three times. Oh, the double kick. All right, Water Shuriken, here we go. <laughs> Actually, that Mudsdale was a perfect choice. Because, I mean, look at the friggin' amount of, like, damage that that double kick did. Like, that is a really good hit. <laughs> oh, Incineroar. Who's faster? This only hits twice, I'm gonna lose my Greninja. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh man, Greninja, Greninja's down. Oh man, it's gonna be uh, Incineroar versus Incineroar. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Malicious Moonsault. <laughs> oh, it attacked first. <laughs> Take this. Cassandra says, no, but yes, this animation. And then Hef is like, he's going for the kill. <laughs> 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 oh, 
All right, that is game. All right, good game, guys. Thank you guys very much for the battle there this evening. That was awesome. If you guys enjoyed the video there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Post your comments in the comment section below. And as always, hope you guys had a fantastic day there today. And I hope you all take care. Peace.